I do not like that cliffhanger. I really do not like that cliffhanger I was just left on in this episode of Magic Kaito. Oh my god. Oh my god. Th this episode... I say it a lot, but I think this is my favorite episode. Yeah, th this is definitely my favorite episode of Magic Kaito. Damn. To find out some backstory on Kaito's father and mother this week... I didn't expect that. I, I, I did not expect to find out more about, you know, his parents. And to find out what they used to do when they used to steal things. And to see how Magic Kaito, Kaito's mother, is a freaking a phantom thief. Like, the phantom lady. I'm like, whoa, dude! So it's just, it's not a coincidence that Kaito is a thief. It runs in the fucking family, dude. That just straight up runs in the family. You got a thief of a father, a thief of a mother. Of course the son is going to be a fucking thief. Oh my god, dude. This was a very, very good episode. Just straight out getting and laying that on the table. This was a damn good episode. I'm not even going to say it was bad. To see this episode, how it was done, displayed, the development, the music. Oh, Kaito and your music. There's just one thing I love about this series so much that really gets me hyped up when I start to sit down and watch Magic Kaito. It is that damn music. That music... I think, personally, it might be my favorite soundtrack from this anime season. Besides Parasite, I think, personally, this is my favorite soundtrack. Magic Kaito's music, man, is just for me. Oh, I love that music, the badass music, especially when you see the Phantom Lady freaking Kaito's mother dodging the lasers. Not the freaking lasers, she's just dodging and all that and doing, oh, oh my god, dude. That, oh my god, man. That, that's how you do fan service, too. That, that's honestly how you handle fan service, too. If you're gonna put fan service, do fan service like that. Dude, shit, man. Shit. Shit. <laughs> okay. So, moving past that. Okay, gotta get the spot time on mine. The thing was with this episode is seeing how Kaito's mother and father, how they technically met and how they got into our relationship. That's what this episode really does. The main importance from this episode is finding out this past previous beef that, you know, Kaito's father and mother had with this mafia boss, and at the exact same time, we get to find out how they got together romantically. Now, what really makes this episode a step above the rest of the episodes, personally, in my opinion, is the way they use the overall backstory. Actually, fleshing out the character some more. I mean, usually Magic Kaito, it does some really well concepts for each individual episode. It, it still continues to be entertaining by the episode, and that's something Magic Kaito knows how to do really well. But to find out more about these characters and get more of the, like, character's development and characterization for these characters, it makes me appreciate this series a lot more. Especially when I see how Kaito's father was just so, I don't know, the way his Aurora atmosphere around him, it just, it feels so different compared to Kaito. Like, he, he feels more mature, of course he's an adult, but I mean, he feels more mature, and the way his character carries himself, he just is a badass. He just straight out is a badass. The way he went in for the kiss with Kaito's mother, oh dude, 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 man, that, that was just like, shit. I, I, I did not expect, you know, romance like that from Magic Kaito. I did I really did not expect romance like that. And to see something like that in Magic Kaito, it, it shocked me. It definitely shocked me when I saw something like that in this episode. And the other things, too, when you just see, like, gliding over the city, you know, you see Kaito's father just holding his mother, and you just see him glide with the freaking air glider. I was like, dude, that, that's good, that's good, that's good. So, yeah, episode of Magic Kaito, man. It is hype. It is hype. The ending, the cliffhanger fucking sucks. It, it really does. The cliffhanger is awful. I do not like that cliffhanger whatsoever, but it makes me hyped up for next week because I need to see that episode. I need to know what is going to go down because with this ending, I just want to know what really will happen from this point onward. I mean, how is Kaito really going to get out of this? I mean, is someone going to help him out? Is this foreshadowing to maybe Kaito getting a partner, an assistant? Is that what this is actually doing? Because we do know that technically the reasons why Magic Kaito's father became a real phantom thief, not just to get the Philosopher's Stone, but it was also because he was going to make himself a big, amazing thief that went all over the news for the phantom lady, for instance, his wife, could live a peaceful life, which is really adorable. It was a really adorable thing in this episode. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.